we often see individuals behaving in ways that don't benefit and seem to harm them. And, uh, and so that creates you know, a research question. Uh, now, as long as those are individual people, you might talk about fashion as an explanation, you might talk about uh, you know, them simply not having enough time to think about it, uh, or maybe the stakes aren't high enough, and so you can explain it away. But then take this to firms and take it to strategies where the stakes are really high, or take it to important technologies where stakes are really high, and, and where they should be able to put their minds together and find the right solution. And now you're left with the same question, only it gets harder to solve. Uh, and that's when it gets really interesting. What is the aggregate effect of innovations? Well, uh, you're looking at 100 years of uh, per person GDP in constant prices for one small European economy. Uh, could this be possibly a result of harder and harder work, or is there instead some accumulation of innovations in producing this result? A highly beneficial innovation really doesn't spread as quickly as you might think. Um, you know, before it gets to a good rate of adoption, uh, more than a decade will pass. For example, once an innovation is created in some place in an industry, who will be the first ones to pick it up and to uh, start using it, and who will start using it after that? And this was the, the case of the large uh, container ships uh, that have re revolutionized the, the container business. And so the innovation there is um, really just, uh, the, it's the thing itself and it's how you uh, are going to use it in a market. And, and that appears to be enough to create doubts. Is it good or is it bad? You can prove that it's really good on the cost side, uh, but there's still enough uncertainty that it holds back even very rational managers who are in competition with others. Innovations are uncertain because it's not clear how they function in practice, as opposed to in the lab. And this uncertainty means that what primarily drives the diffusion process is information from the current users of an innovation reaching potential users of the innovation. Information reduces uncertainty, uncertainty reduction produces adoption. Yeah, fundamentally this is an issue of uh, how quickly do we learn from our experiences and how accurately do we learn from our experiences. I mean, the firm's strategies when they face an innovation um, you know, directly result in uh, improvements in uh, what they can offer to the world if they're successful. Uh, so we, we want speed and we want accuracy. But there's a trade-off between speed and accuracy. My suspicion is after having looked at um, innovations in a number of places um, and, and trying to find useful information to uh, innovations to study, uh, looking at how they spread, um, Probably as a whole, uh, in there, there's too much conservatism, things are a little bit too slow. Uh, and so we don't make mistakes as often as we should actually. <laughs>